Just, no. just exists. No, no, I am filming. Mm. Don't have this fucking margarita. What are you looking at? I'm looking at my friend that I have at work. Her name's Jessica West. She is a former liveaboard sailor. Nice. So she met somebody, so right now she's a land dweller. But she comes from the northern, like, I think New York, Maine part of the country and sailed down to here. Mm -hmm. So... I am um, sailed up to here, so like she's in sailed down to here. I'm sorry, like via it's in Big B. Oh yeah, I guess that's why she has a. You have that picture. What picture? The picture of her going through the lock. Oh yeah, that opened the hole. All right, so she definitely knows her stuff. We're gonna be doing that. Yep. That's exciting. We'll probably do that in the same video that this is. <laughs> well, that's cool. So she's for 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 woodwork. So for guitars, you have to I'm guessing cure wood, smoke wood, do things to it. So clearly there she's. Prepping wood, he's going to turn into a guitar at some point. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's cooler than even just playing, I suppose. I don't even know the first thing about it. Lure caught me in the finger. It's barbed, and uh, I couldn't pull it out. I tried for a couple hours, tried numbing my finger, watched some videos, it ain't happening. It's just in there, which, so I'm in a hospital room, waiting to have someone braver than me do it for me. Pretty bad, I want to live on a boat, and this just brings me down. Put your hat back on, it's better, yeah, yeah. And take it all off real slow. No, don't, don't do that. This is for YouTube. Thanks, though, for being being willing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you doing, you little jammies? You look so cute. They're thermals. But yeah, nice and warm. Hey, everybody. So, we are out on the water in the Geminon Traveler. Um... It is Friday. We just got our mask put up. Super exciting. Got told our rigging doesn't look too bad, which we were expecting the worst. So that's a. Uh, it's nice to hear. Uh, so to celebrate getting our mask up, we decided to enjoy this beautiful weather. Uh, for perspective, it's been storming for the last two days, and now we have a beautiful sun shining day. Um, I've got a uh, Captain TJ here. He's a uh, busy doing Captain stuff. Hey, everybody! Of course, I'm uh, navigating at the moment. Well, not doing a great job considering I'm not at the nav station, but we're on course. We got a ways to go anyway. Um, we're about an hour out. We're heading toward towards a place called Skull Island. Um, at about four knots. At about four knots, four, knots, four and a half knots, something like that. Um, so yeah, this should be a fun adventure. We've got nice weather for it. We've got the taquito here. Y'all must forgive me, I'm filming on my phone because I cannot get the SD card out of my camera right now. So ah. the, you know, glare and video quality is due to that. But I'm doing my best. Either way, we'll have some footage. Yeah? I'm feeling good? Pretty easily entertained. Check it out. The Geminon. 
has its mass back. Oh, look, got a little solar panel action going on right there. It's a little 30 watt. That's not all we're going to have, of course. That's just the start. Yeah. Beautiful day out here. Those are the bougie people, you know. What are you doing over here? Uh, trying to do a warm-up procedure for our mini outboard for the Intex. Oh yeah? Why is that important? Well, it has to go through its paces because it's brand new. Yeah, from what I read, uh, the break-in period on these, if you do it correctly, extends the life by years. If you don't do it correctly, it'll still work. It's just going to give out on you earlier. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with it. Manufacturer didn't really oil, you know, manufacturer oil the parts, so it's sent to you kind of needing to get lubricated, which is what happens when you have an oil gas mixture. So this is our Hankai, our outboard gas motor we're going to use on our dinghy. Uh, it's a cool little thing. It's one of the cheaper options if you're looking for a motor for your dinghy. Um, it does not require a battery either, fun fact. It uses two-stroke oil and uh, pure gasoline, and then it's basically a pull start, so you've got like a lawnmower motor on it. But uh, from what I read, they're pretty useful. People seem to like them. Um, TK's getting ready to, to do the break-in procedure for it, which, if you go online, a lot of people can explain to you how to do it. It's quite important for these type of little motors. So yeah, exciting times. Hey everyone, figured I'd uh, show you around a little bit. This is uh, Sail Creek Marina, or rather right now we're looking at Captain TJ messing with our outboard. Not at all fatigued from a light task. No, not at all, of course not. We are in top shape mariners right here. Um. So, this is my project. As I told you all before, we have to repack the Intex because we decided we didn't need instructions and we packed it when it was partially inflated. Which, uh, to save you some frustration, if you didn't know this, don't do that. Um, always deflate it, try to get the surface as flat as possible, and clean the area because you don't want any rubber oil. Because when you pack, you don't want to pack on top of any type of slick oil. Um, anyway, I have completed my task. The pack, which is right here, don't know if that's going to be easy to see for y'all. It used vinyl cement as well as a sticky adhesive pack, so I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Um, it's going to take 48 hours to cure correctly, so we're going to give it that time because I don't want to redo it. Anyway, this is Sail Creek Marina. Um, it's pretty cool. TJ calls it the lagoon. I guess the color reminds him the most <laughs> of a lagoon. But it's a cool little area. So I've stayed at a few marinas now, and I can tell you this one is in really good shape, well kept. I mean, you know, we're out kind of in the woods, so you're going to expect to see some weathered wood, but that's normal on almost all docks. But they do a really good job of upkeep here. You can tell that everybody kind of respects the area and the facilities, which is nice. Uh, because I did, we did stay at a marina that had more, let's just say, jankier people that were not as pleasant to be around. Uh, in fact, one day at the marina we couldn't get to our boat because the dock had 
fallen apart and it wasn't safe to cross. So they've got this little area for people to come sit and picnic. There's a grill there. Very nice covered area. It's very cool out around here since we've got a lot of trees. Um, trying to improve my filming some and not be so shaky with filming so forgive me if I'm not perfect at it yet. This is the way to what would be the bathroom slash shower. I'm obviously not going to go and film in the bathrooms, but that is the bathroom area. If you keep walking that way past that building, there's a little marine store where you can pretty much get anything you would need from beer to wiring to lights to... It's really cool, and the people that work there are really knowledgeable on what you might need. They, of course, work on boats here at the marina. But yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd give you all a little tour of where we've been staying out in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee. This is the Sail Creek Multi-Boating Arena, uh, Marina, rather. So there's a turtle. Just cruising around right now. Pretty cool. Oh come on, motherfucker! And seven? What? Why didn't he do shit? What? 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 Are you looking at boats? I was just looking at an interior tour of a version of a bay field from '76. It's pretty nice. In bay fields. Do you like O'Day's in bay fields? I like O'Day. Bay fields are really nice. They're just as nice. Um, I like the little comfort items that they add to bay fields. Uh huh. Since that's what it comes down to, the different brands, they just, it's the layout of interior and what they do. So, I like the bay field models. You doing alright, Apollo? Hi, Apollo. All right. I think it may be our last day. Well, maybe not. But our last day for a little bit here at Sail Creek. It's been awesome. All right. So, where are we going? Uh, let's see. Plotting course through Navionics, one of my helpful apps. All right, we are going from the Sail Creek Marina to our very first anchorage, Skull Island. It's gonna plot us out. Processing. Ding. All right. So we got a buoy warning there. So down, down, down. Not too far. Almost to the Chickamauga Dam. A few marinas nearby we're going to investigate. We may end up coming back to Sail Creek to get some wiring done. We're going to find out about that today. It says an hour and 10 minutes, but that's you know, putting us at an average of like seven knots. And in truth, going down the river, it's going to be more like 4.3 to 4.8, maybe five knots. And we'll take closer to two hours and it will use very little fuel. So, yeah, this is our first real plotted course and heading to our first anchorage. There's no real power, a lot of battery operated stuff right now. Uh... We shall see. We shall see.
支持。